My name is Philip Noyed and I'm a 2D, 3D illumination artist. And for that artwork, I thought about Matisse and his artwork that's called The Joy of Life. So I would thought of the joy of life and the joy of color and the joy of travel. It is going through all the colors of the rainbow or the chakras. It starts with the red and goes all the way up to yellow and green and culminates in purple. And then the diamonds flip and start with purple and go in the other direction of the rainbow. And then it culminates in a diamond that is all the colors in the rainbow, finally the leaper who leaps out of the rainbow and into the future. It's a quantum leap forward. It's not being stuck in the present. And it's not being stuck in fear or anger. It's all about moving into a new direction in your life. And this painting is the one that I used for creating the Leap of Joy. You can see the little leaper at the very left corner. Uh, and so that little piece became the inspiration for this 50 foot long installation. So here's the painting that I used to create the Aurora Borealis. When people experience the Aurora Borealis, it's this ephemeral, otherworldly orchestration of color in the sky. And so when I brought that into the airport, I have a diamond in the middle that pulsates through all the colors. And then each one of the images has a dialogue with the former and the next image that pulsates the color all the way out 60 feet. And it replicates by making this light come to life uh, that experience in the airport. The concept of the Star of the North was that anybody of any race, nationality, creed, or sexual orientation would be welcome to Minnesota. And it's in fact something that's been in our state seal since 1863. The vinyl is such an amazing material because it shimmers colors. It looks silver, but then depending upon how the light hits it, you can see green or red. Uh, we used uh, sanding to make it a very, very flat surface because we didn't want any bumps. And then it had to be perfectly uh, adhered. And then in the very heart, there is a crystal that's identical to this crystal that allows the light to be freed and then create rainbows on the floor. The quality of the images is very important to me. So I had to create miniature versions and then expand it to large images that would then be printed and cut and then assembled at the airport. So I have a 60 foot long by six foot tall light box and every one of the Chevron images is locked in place with a frame that's screwed into the wall. And I worked with an acrylic fabricator to come up with a, a way that I could create my uh, artwork in a compelling way. So I worked with a sign manufacturing company that could install the artwork safely.